there's something about standing in front of a painting and looking at the colors and looking at the brush strokes and just seeing like what some of those French painters at the time, what they were thinking about. To be able to work some of that impressionistic feel into the work would be something kind of new and something kind of cool. There is this theme that runs through the story of Les Mis. There's this theme of, of really hanging in there and caring for something that you love. Now, when we started Theater Avenue, projections were not the first thing that we were doing. You know, we were painting posters. There was a period of one or two years where I was doing a lot of painting, but we didn't really have any sales. Maybe we should slow down, maybe we should stop. And I remember feeling that sometimes, feeling like, gosh, you know, this is, this is really hard, especially in those first couple of years. I was sitting down with the middle school teacher and I was showing him all the posters. And on one little part of our website, there were like a couple of projections that we had in this version of Wizard of Oz that we had done. And he like leaned down and he looked at me and he said, what, what's that? He's like, do you think I could use that in my school production? And the light came on, I was like, wow, let's do more of these. This is what we're inspired to do. We just kind of shifted and pivoted that way and it didn't happen right away. There was a lot of time spent building, but all of a sudden it just started to really grow. Twenty twenty hits and the pandemic and everything in theater stops. You'd see these stages that were empty. The ghost light would be on. And I think there were really some questions in people's minds, you know, would theater make it? Would it endure? It was really a struggle. And I remember feeling that because it wasn't a guarantee for us. And so in some ways, here we are back at the beginning where it's like, are we going to make it? There was something that lit up in me at a certain point where instead of just wanting to fold it all up, I thought, no, actually, this is a perfect time to keep going. That instead of doing less art, I actually could take advantage of that time and we could do more art. It started working and we started making more. And yeah, things were not selling, our theaters were still closed, but I felt this momentum and I felt this inspiration and I felt this excitement. It wasn't even about the company making it. It wasn't even necessarily about us. It was more this community effort to fight and to hang in there for something that was even bigger than a company. There's something special about the connections that we have with people. Theater is about community. Theater is about family, and that's, that's not just taking things seriously. That's having fun together. That's being together. That's enjoying the ride that we're on together. There are these things in our lives that are worth fighting for, things that we really care about deeply. Even though there's a lot of obstacles, even though there's things that are in your way and in your path, it's important to persevere through difficult times, to come together more. One of the lessons of Les Mis is that we can't do it alone. We have to come together. In some ways, I feel like that's at the core of our story. And I think that Les Mis is the kind of story that can remind us of that.